what are your thoughts on hip hop overall right now? Hip hop right now? Yeah. Uh, I think hip hop right now is in the right direction. I think, um, you know, it's it's got exploited so bad. The exploitation of hip hop uh, got so bad and so uncharacteristic uh, that people started going the wrong way um, and rapping about things that didn't matter, and it almost turned into a uh, well, pretty much did turn into a get rich quick scheme. Um, but we're getting back to uh, you know, and I think this has a lot to do with a uh, with the youth movement. Um, you know, kids who grew up in my generation and even a little bit younger than me. Um, that that aren't necessarily money motivated. I can't say that I'm not money motivated just because it's uh it's it's cool to be financially stable. Not like cool, but yeah, you want you, people strive to be able to you know it frees you up a little bit. But I'm not money motivated. Like I I don't wake up in the morning and say hey I gotta go get money today. Like it's just not that's not what I do. Um, so I think hip hop is getting back to more of the message stuff. Kids are having fun again. And I just want to be one of those projects. I want to be one of those transitional records. Like I want, I want to be one of those, one of those cats that, like, you know, I don't want to come off as like, hey, I know everything and blah blah blah. I just want to make sure the kids understand that, you know, if we keep rapping about this nonsense and this uh, this un unobtainable materialism, like, and the kids keep rapping about that, we're so screwed, man. <laughs> we're so screwed. Hip hop is such a language. It's such a universal language that everybody wants to be into. And, uh, you know, it could really change the attitude and the vibe of, of millions and millions of people. So I just want to be the one, like, or one of the people that pass along that message of have fun, enjoy it, and rap about something that means something to you, something you're passionate about. Because listeners can hear it, man. I know when rappers are just rhyming words. You know what I mean? We know. We, a lot of listeners with, with content moving so fast um, and our attention spans being down to zero, you gotta come with it nowadays, man. You gotta be creative. You gotta be consistent, and you gotta be saying something, man. There's so many, so many rappers that just rhyme words, and you know, what I mean, what's more important is what you're saying. To me, anyway, I guess some people disagree, uh, and that's all good. But in, in my world, I think that uh, what you're saying, and, and and who you're speaking to, is is the most important part of the game. Uh, the exploitation of yeah. hip hop started. I mean, ever since. Ever since the church and music, you know what I mean? The exploitation, not necessarily hip-hop, but like of music has been going on forever now. Uh, hip-hop, you know what I mean? As soon as they realized they could make money off of it and people would show up, it changed. Uh, but man, look, I, I love I love the culture of hip-hop. I'm obviously a white kid and hip-hop is obviously, you know, it's black music. It's black culture. It's enlightenment and empowerment. And uh, that's stuff that really attracted me to it. You know, I mean, I'm not from I'm not from the Bronx. I'm not from New York. I'm from Bucks County. It, it wasn't right outside my window. Uh, I got exposed to hip hop mainly through television. But as I started to really uh, embrace it and 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 meet with people who did, uh, you know, who who were part of the culture, it really opened up my eyes to what what it what it is. And just to see what's on television and to like almost be like a part of that, man. Like it was crazy. Like. People, people think I Love College was an exploitive, like, uh, you know, not not a good move. I think it kind of bridged the gap a little bit. I think it's a, it's a very, you know, it, it was a record that kind of showed how similar people are than different. And we just want to enjoy ourselves and enjoy our time on this earth. So once people realize, and they're getting there, man, it's getting there, but still money play, plays such a serious role um, in distribution and production. Um, but once people realize that you can insource and outsource all your own content via the internet, and you can use your voice with the Twitters and the Facebooks, and as much as it's a it's a it's a, a gift, it's also a curse. You have to be obviously, um, you know, smart about what you're doing. But you have control now. You know, the controllers control is back in the consumers and the artists' hands, and labels are starting to freak out. So that's the good thing: um, is that if if you don't want your uh, your music or your art to be exploited, then you don't have to be a part of that. And uh, you know that's kind of where we're going in a sense of we want the distribution man we want the, the most eyeballs on the projects that we're doing but we don't want labels to try to be the artist and tell us what to write about and tell us who to be uh, that's when that's when things for me that's when I started to just cool out a little bit because you started to see a lot of chefs in the kitchen and you started to see and you see I'm sure this is just my story I'm sure many many artists have similar stories of artists uh, um, of labels trying to be artists and uh, you know at this point man you, you the l listeners can hear it they can hear the disconnect from when you're telling the truth and when you're not